How's it going guys? Back with another Tomb Raider video. It's actually been a while since I've done a video on Tomb Raider. I believe the last time I did this, well, I had more to do with Square Enix Montreal. Uh, that was acquired, that was one of the studios acquired by Embracer Group, and then they renamed the company Onoma Studio, or Studios, whatever. Uh, and then they went out of business. So, yeah, great job. Um, now it seems like they might be doing this with Tomb Raider, I don't know. But uh, it's rather an interesting story, so this is just alleged, alleged news that Amazon is buying the rights to Tomb Raider, and it just, I don't know, this whole story, I mean, it sounds exciting, but then you get into the legal stuff, and Square Enix is a, or no, I'm sorry, not Square Enix, well, yes, they're, Square, Square is a publicly traded company, but so is Amazon. Anyway, what am I getting at? So, a report... I've been seeing this all over the internet, but specifically Games Radar was the article I actually got this information from, um, but I have seen it elsewhere, so I have verified that it's not just one news company sharing this. Anyway, Games Radar reported that Embracer Group is selling the rights to Tomb Raider. Amazon is reportedly buying the series for $600 million, or I should say they already bought the the uh, IP, which, I don't know, that just sounds... Uh, anyway, recently Square Enix sold the rights to several franchises and studios. Tomb Raider was one of the... the assets it sold. Yes, it also sold uh, Crystal Dynamics, um, Eidos Montreal, uh, my mind went blank for a second, forgot the name of the studio, and then Square Enix Montreal, which is, became Onoma Stu Studio, and then they shut down. Anyway. Tomb Raider was one of the assets it sold. The weird thing about this is there was no mention of Crystal Dynamics, and they're one of the main major developers of the games. Yes, there's other developers that have done Tomb Raider, but I mean like the main develop, one of the major main developers, like for uh, console and PC games. I'm not talking about mobile. Yeah, so no mention of Crystal Dynamics being acquired by Amazon. At least not yet. Maybe later it'll turn out. Oh, they're buying them too. I think they really should. If they do buy Humor, I think they should buy Crystal Dynamics. Anyway, therefore, it is unknown that if this will only apply to a Prime movie and or series or if it is for the entire franchise, including video games. Only time will tell. It's just strange that I didn't really... S I didn't see anywhere in the report or any mention online that Crystal Dynamics was included in the sale, and if the sale is even real. Anyway, if Amazon is interested in buying Tomb Raider, they will need to disclose this to investors. Amazon is a publicly traded company that is in the stock market. They are not a private company. It would make sense, a lot more sense, if the deal has not been completed yet. I'm not even sure they would be able to start the deal. Um, yes, so in order, yeah, so it'd be a good idea for them not to complete it, yet to avoid hefty legal repercussions and announce it to investors. So this whole story is a rather interesting matter. I, I don't know. I don't, like, like, I don't think it's illegal to say, like, like, to express interest since, like, hey, we would like to maybe invest in your company or studio, whatever, um, down the road, um. You know, but don't actually do it until you speak, you announce it to investors. Yeah. I don't I don't think there's, like, anything illegal in, like, just saying you're expressing your interests. You know, that that's your financial interests. Whatever. I, I don't really think that, per se, is illegal. I, I just think it would be, I would say it would be illegal to buy a company and then announce it to your investors. Hey, we already bought this company. And I know a lot of companies, um, a lot of times when you hear, it's like, oh, so-and-so is buying this company. Back in 2021, I believe it was 2021, uh, when Nintendo bought Next Level Games. Has it really been almost two years? Yeah, I guess it has been. When Nintendo bought Next Level Games, a lot of um, news stations, mostly gaming companies, gaming companies, gaming outlets, I'll say that, they were reporting that Nintendo has bought Next Level Games. Well, the deal didn't go through until, I want to say right around 
the end of March of 2021. Correct me if I'm wrong. I believe that was the year, though. So, it's just how they're reporting this. So, so back to Amazon buying Tomb Raider, allegedly. Even if they do buy it, you know, I'm still seeing, like, oh, they already bought it. I, I know what they mean. but And, hey, maybe they will buy it. I don't know. But it just seems strange. It's like they're already going through the process of buying it without disclosing it to their investors. Now, I'm not a legal expert, so what I'm saying maybe. Not 100% accurate, and I wouldn't be surprised if some, uh, if some of the stuff I'm saying is completely wrong. So bear with me. Um, yeah. And you also want to um, take this with a grain of salt. I don't know. It's just this article, and I'm, I was, at first, I was kind of, I thought they were genuinely being serious about it. Maybe they are serious about it. And then I saw other new, news stations saying, gaming news stations saying, you know, basically saying, reporting the same thing. And it's like, oh, okay, yeah, maybe this is this probably is a real thing. I don't know, but I can maybe see them say, oh, we bought the rights for the for movies or TV shows. I don't know, but I don't know. I still think they would need to disclose that to investors. Anyway, I'm gonna quit talking. I want to hear what you guys have to say. Again, I'm not a business expert. I'm not a legal expert. 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 If I could talk properly, so. I might be saying some stuff that's not 100% accurate, and I apologize for that, but just from doing some research in the past, um, like with Microsoft, I remember there was uh, speculation that Microsoft has bought Konami, and I made a video on that and got called out for it, and yes, I should have got, I, I'm glad I'm not calling the person out, I'm not attacking the person for calling me out, I'm actually glad you called me out, I... Yes, thank you. I, I don't remember your name, and even if I did, I probably wouldn't say it just because I don't want to direct attention at this user. I don't know if they're watching this video, but I'm kind, I'm actually glad they called me out. So it's like, oh, well, Microsoft wouldn't be able to buy Konami and then announce it to investors. Yeah, that was, a, that was kind of bad on my part that I made that statement. And, you know, I meant I was wrong, but it is what it is. Anyway, I'm going to shut up. Uh, I, I basically kind of said everything I, I wanted to say. Um, yeah. Let me know what you guys think. I don't know. I could see, like, um, them at least, like, maybe publishing the next game. I believe they actually are. No, no. They are publishing one of the next upcoming Tomb Raider games. That doesn't mean they own the rights. So, I don't know. We'll have to see, see what happens. Anyway, let me know what you guys think. I'm going to quit blabbering on. Without further ado, I want to thank you for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video.